Hello everyone, I am the Kremlin Archer and welcome to Enemy. Enemy is a tactical turn-based RPG game set in a sort of mishmash uh, world. It's it's a combination of lots of different um, sort of gaming archetypes, be the the action game or the adventure Zelda-ish game. It's but overall it kind of looks like Minecraft. There's a sort of voxel-based look. Um, it's it's combat system is very reminiscent of XCOM. So if you've ever played XCOM, it's that sort of tactical, time-based. You have a certain amount of time units to do various things, uh, you, and then you get to the end, and then your enemies get to go. It's that sort of thing. Um, but it's it's pretty fun. I'm not that great at it, but I want to show it to you. So let's uh, let's dig right in. We'll do a um, a new game here, and we'll as oops, gotta smell my name right. We'll just go with our our name here, the Chromion Archer, and we'll create that guy. And so you can see, sort of a blocky look. We can uh, jump around until we find somebody we like here. I bet we'd be some sort of redhead guy. We'll be a ginger for this one. Um, so yeah, so it's got that blocky kind of look. We'll jump in. We get to choose our background. We do want to be an adventure gamer, or adventure from an adventure game. That's the sort of first-person shooter style game. We got adventure. Which is uh, like like Legend of Zelda esque kind of thing. See, though you are of humble birth, you seek a way to prove your courage to, to the princess of your homeland. There's horror. Every eternity, your family line has been called upon to put down the Lord of the Dead, which is, I suppose, Castlevania kind of thing. Platformer, so it's, uh, certainly not Mario, because that would be that would be terribly incorrect. And then we're back here. I'm actually gonna go with an adventure guy. Um, just because it, you know, it seems like a good choice. So we'll start there. Let's continue. And then you've got your skills that you have. You have five points, as you can see down here in the left-hand corner. Five points to start with. They're melee, range. Those are obvious. Bombs. Um, you throw bombs. It's just kind of what you do. Throwing. So throw damage plus ten. Throw distance plus one. Throw accuracy up. Allows you to pick up and toss objects. Damage is, is sealed by the material of the object. You've got health, gives you extra health. Endurance, endurance bar plus five, jump distance plus one, jump damage plus five. Your endurance bar is rem is drained by running or jumping, which costs less time units with this. Mind is your mental health. You have sort of a mental health bar that goes down. Uh, view distance plus one, view angle three plus three percent, three degrees I should say. Your mental health bar is drained by an allied death and enemy attacks, even if they miss. So you just kind of get freaked out. It's kind of a sanity meter if you've played any games like Darkest Dungeon with a sanity meter. It's kind of that kind of thing. Reaction allows you to, to preempt an enemy action and take a brief turn of your own. Generated when leftover time times reaction is greater than opponent time times reaction. Okay. That one I don't entirely understand. I kind of get it. It's just sort of you get to sort of break in and do a little bit. But we're going to go with a ranged guy because it seems like a good choice. Put a little health in there. we got two more points. What do we want? Um, how about endurance and mind? That looks good to me. All right, so let's go. This land has seen better days. Brutal Cyclops rules the forest. So you're, the main goal is to defeat these, like, several... Um, sets of enemies, and you can see that this one looks kind of like, got a Mario Brothers feel. This is a much more of a adventure game, action game. We've got a horror game going on here. It's all in the, it's presented in a voxel kind of look to it with some destructible terrain and such. You've got this over map that's very reminiscent of the old, like, early, early NES Final Fantasy games. So we got our three guys. Criminal Archer, we've heard you need help. They're gonna... So we've got me. He's got in it. This is like this is move. This is attack. This is click to set your current action to aim. Huh, I don't actually know what that means. Click to set your current action to fire at point. That's just to kind of shoot in a direction. Um, so we've got we've got he has 75 time units, 75 health, 45 mental health, and 15 uh, endurance. And then you've got things like this, this is his, um, you know, his character sheet. He's got his, this pill, 
will make his mental well-being better. These are his number of bolts for his little crossbow he's got here. So there's 12 here and there's 12 uh, like attached. It's essentially like a clip. And then he's got some, you know, basic gear. Green adventurer's pants. So, yeah, that kind of stuff. But then you got two other guys. You got this guy, Alberto, who is a sort of a bombardier kind of character. He's got Molotov cocktails and a tear gas attack. And then you've got Hero or Nero. Either Nero or Hero. It's kind of hard to tell with this font. I guess it's Nero because there's the N that's an H up here. It looks different. He's a ranged guy too, but he shoots bullets. Same basic guy premise, but... Um, so let's start with this guy. We'll move him out here. He sees a bandit. Right over there. Okay. So, um, as you can see, it's presented in sort of a voxel-based thing. You can spin the camera around. It kind of goes to one of four prefixed positions. Um, you can also pull the world up and down with the page up and page down keys like this. It just helps to be able to see. Let's see what else do we have. Um, this shoots as mouse wheel kind of sends things up and down. And I'm not entirely sure what that's useful for yet except for maybe hitting targets on a higher plane than you. Um, but let's see what we can do about this guy here. Do we have enough for a shot? Boom! We missed. Okay. But do you see that negative, that two that just popped up there was his, uh, um, his mental health rating? So let's see. Let's try throwing a bomb at him. So this has like a little arc to it. Boom! Alright, he got hit with that fire. That's good. Let's get our guy out. I'll join the, join the party here. I'm going to try and uh, turn him a couple different directions. That's the edge of the map, I guess. Okay. Uh, do we have enough left to shoot at this guy? We do. Alright, cool. I imagine that guy's going to die. So we've reached the end of our turn. Nobody has enough moves left or anything. Oh, well, Hero actually has a move. Can he shoot again? Oh. We got We hit him. I don't, I don't really know what that was. We got an achievement too for some reason. Alright, we're out of movement, so it's enemy turn. Alright. He I think just died. And you can see that the the, the ground is destructible because the um the trees are on fire, as you can see. Um Let's start looking around for the other guys. There's a few more guys out here somewhere. And we gotta find them. Because they're going to wreck our day if we don't find them. Nope, don't see them anywhere. But if we go up a little further. This guy come forward to here. Aha, there's one. Oh, he's got a bomb. This guy's got a bomb. That's not good. Alright, so let's move forward a little bit. Do you have enough to shoot? Nope, doesn't have enough time. Okay. Let's rotate back in here. Alright, I don't think any of them are going to have enough to shoot. Oh, we need to put this back in his hand. Uh, left hand. Can he, sh can he throw that far? No, it's too many time units. And he has a 0% chance of hitting from that distance. Okay. Well, let's hope that that guy doesn't get to us and before we, uh... It's time. Apparently that guy is still alive inside the fire somewhere. <laughs> Alright. Let's back you up a little bit. And shoot this guy. That's a good solid, good solid hit. Do we have another, enough to shoot more? Not good. Can we get squeeze one more out? Oh, we missed with that one. You see that it's a little destructible environment thing going on there? How about this guy? Can we shoot? Oh, you can do better than that. 71% chance. There we go. He's dead. Hopefully that bomb doesn't go off. Alright, so let's see. Gotta move out a little bit. So let's go let's advance a little further. This guy has basically no movement left. All right, let's do this guy up here. Some sort of building up here. 
He sees a bandit. Oh, he's back there. Okay. I'm going to put him behind the tree for now. You have no time units left. You have no time units left. Alright. Oh, he got hurt. He got hit by the fire. That's not good. He might die. I don't see the bandit anymore. Oh, look this way. Can we... Let's go right here. Where did this guy go? I'm gonna take a risk here and just toss this bomb back over in this corner. I like causing the destruction. Makes me happy. How's this guy doing? He only has 14 health left. That's not good. Try to keep him safe. Somewhere in here is a bad guy. Oh, there's another bandit. That's a different bandit than before. That guy's blonde. The other guy wasn't blonde. Alright, can you... Is there anything you can do and to heal yourself that is unavailable in combat? Okay. Alright, so let's hope we don't die here. Oh no! We died. Poor guy died. That's too bad. I liked him. Nero. This is, uh, seemed like a nice enough man. Move up here. Ah, oh, there he is. Come on. Shoot. Oh, how did you not hit that? Alright, that was a solid hit. Oh, come on. I don't think we have enough to shoot again. We don't. We just a little too left. Let's get behind a tree. Oh. Oh no. Where did this guy come from? Do left hand. I don't think this is going to go well for us guys. Come here. Let's back up to here. See if we can uh, hit this guy. No, we don't have enough. We don't have enough time units. Okay. We're probably toast. May have to try this again. Ow! 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 All right. So let's back him up here do this right there he doesn't have the time all right I guess we're just gonna run instead nope oh. can he do anything how far no he's gonna have needs how about this can we do this how much time he needs 25 units of time to do anything okay that's not good this guy's not going to be able to hit. Let's see if we step one unit here. Let's see if we can take this guy out. Maybe we can save. Oh no. Oh, we don't have time for that. <laughs> this is going to end badly, guys. He's going to kill this guy on this next round. I guarantee it. Yeah, there's one hit. There's two. Yeah, he's dead. Now I expect... Yeah, there's the other one. Alright, well that didn't go so well. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> ah, the end. Alright, new game. Let's try this name again. Maybe it'll uh, treat us a little bit nicer. It's because we were a... It's because we were a, um, a ginger. That's the problem. We're gonna go with act actually let's go horror this time, just for a different different look. Not sure about what to do here though. I think I still think I wanna go ranged. I'm gonna put two in health instead, and one in endurance. Just to let's try a little different here. Let's see if this will work. I don't wanna see this again. We're gonna try this again. I think we can do it this time, guys. Ooh, a little bit different looking place. Oh, we've got different guys now. We still have Nero. 
This guy is Jack. Apparently he's like a uh, little Mac, I guess. He's a fighter. Got he's got punching abilities, it looks like. How about me? What do I have? Same crossbow bolt. Okay, well that's that's uh less exciting. Actually we should probably put um I feel like this guy is more likely to get hit, so he should probably have the med kit. Alright, so let's go out here. Ah, I see a ghost. Ooh, ooh spooky ghost. Alright, let's see. Let's go right here. Ooh, it's like up to his chest. That's interesting. Does this guy have any shots left? It's probably too far to even concern ourselves with. 18. He's only got a 25% chance to hit. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. We'll have her move up to here. That's it. Nobody has any more moves. Yeah, yeah, I know. Alright, yep, get yourself in a better place to be shot at there, Mr. Ghost. Alright, we're gonna move you here. And you're gonna shoot the ghost. Because, you know, bullets. Excellent way to kill a ghost. Actually, that may actually not be working at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure that that's actually doing anything at all. Okay. That could be a problem. You get right up in this ghost's face. I'd very much like you to beat this ghost up. He is level four. He is in. I think that just said he was invulnerable. Hmm. There's an interesting question. What do we do about that? How do you fight an invulnerable enemy? Oh, somebody's shooting at us. Alright, let's move up here. Aha, a skeleton. I see the skeleton too. Good eyes. Soon you'll be like us. Right, let's move you up to here. Can we hit that from here? Probably not. But we'll give it a shot. I'm going to move you behind this post with your last little bit of energy. Move you up to here. I'm trying to trying to use cover. It's uh it's moderately successful. Hopefully this ghost just ignores us, because we don't seem to actually be able to do anything to him, so. Can we make it to that? There we go. Oh, right there. Can we go there? Yeah. Alright. Oh, hey, that went right through that. No fair. I was supposed to block it. Oh no, ghost. Oh no. Did a bunch of mental damage to him. I warned you guys I was bad at this game. So that uses up like all of his attack power um, to run around in panic, by the way. <laughs> Let's move forward. Let's see if we can at least get do something about this guy. Oh, well that'll do it. Let's try this again. I think this is... Yeah, we still can't hit that guy. I don't really know what we're supposed to do about that. Hmm. Question becomes, what do we do about that? I'm gonna try one more shot. I can't tell if it's just, if he's just missing or if he's invulnerable. Because that one time that the this guy got in involved, it seemed like he was invulnerable. But I'm worried that I'm just a... I, there's a distinct possibility that I'm just a doofus. I'm trying to find the other. There's going to be more bad guys around here. Oh, 
Oh no. Don't touch him. Alright, so. This. He's got a 100% chance to hit. Yeah, invulnerable. Level 26. I don't really understand what the hell I'm supposed to do about that. Like, what's what am I supposed to do about that? That seems ridiculous. Maybe the lesson here is don't start with the horror control horror setup. Let's get him back. All right, so you're out of movement. You have a full set. So let's get in here. Let's do page down. Alright, nothing useful in here it looks like, so that's not good. Do we just keep running from this guy until we kill everything else? Maybe that's what we have to do. Alright, so it looks like this side of the map is clear, almost. I haven't checked that last little corner there. Come around this way. I'm gonna work under the assumption that once we kill everything else, the ghost is gonna go away. It's probably not true. Yes, I see the ghost too. We all saw him earlier. He scared one of the pit living pants off of one of our friends. I don't like having the party this split up either. It's making me feel very uncomfortable. Don't know what we do about this ghost. Is this everybody? You're out of moves. You're out of moves. Okay. See a vampire thrall. Growl. Alright, so let's keep moving this guy around here. I should probably be bringing them all together, but I'm not a smart man. I think we all know that. I've come to accept it. You probably should too. It's just a chair. It's like... Yeah, vampire thrall with his, uh, his, his chainsaw. Is he going to get all the way to us? Gotcha, he says. Yeah, I know you don't have time. Let go. Give me away. Let go. Let go. I want this stupid icon to go away. There we go. Alright. Whoops. That was not what I wanted to do. Alright. Um move you here that stupid vamp that stupid uh ghost is coming back again oh come on Nero you're worthless can't Just try to get out of the way here Where's the other guy? Oh, got some sort of like devil creature over there. Join us. Oh, nice hit. All right, it says one enemy remains. That means that this thing, the ghost must go away when we get done with this. All right, so let's hit this again. Kill it? No, I didn't kill him. There we go. Yeah, the ghost died. All right, cool. Awesome. So once you have a, a, a level cleared, you can loot, basically. What's this? This is a crossbow. Another crossbow. All right. Can we get this chainsaw? Can I want this chainsaw? Chainsaw. Awesome. 
we do anything? Can't do anything with these. All right. Oh, we can loot this body. He has medicine. I'll take it. Thanks. Can't loot any of the. Can't loot that. All right. Nothing in that house. I'm looking for a treasure chest. Yeah, like that one right there. All right. Um. See if we can get. Let's actually come back here. I want to loot this body. Come on, guys. They're a little slow. Be nice if their walking speed when they're not in combat would just be a little bit faster. Pitchfork. Huh. Thrown weapon, it looks like. Alright. How about this guy? What's he got on him? Nothing? Nothing. Alright. So let's see if we can get what we find in these crates. Or treasure chests, whatever you want to call them. We got bottle of water. Puts out fires. Okay. Gold. Also nice. Smoke bomb. I'll take that. Beer. Grants one turn of fearlessness, but temporarily lowers reaction. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Can we get... So... Let's see if we can... Alright, I need, I need one of these guys. Come here. Come here, guys. Alright, let's try jumping. Oh, we can't make it. Alright, that's okay. There's stairs. Come here. Looks like this house got damaged somehow. Luckily, we can walk on the damage. Alright, another chainsaw. Take it. More smoke bombs. Alright, it looks like there's one more chest over here. We'll go check that out and then we'll move on. Alright, more gold. Awesome. What is this? A knife? Just a knife. Melee one. Okay. How about you, mister? That, uh, by the way, this is inventory is shared, satchel is individual. So this requires melee two. This requires 12 damage, 47 damage, time cost five. Huh. Interesting. So we could do that, and then he has a buzzsaw thing. Okay. Alright, that's pretty cool. Alright, and so I'm probably going to stop pretty much here, but I wanted to show you this is the map. You start, you know, we start here, and then we can go to one of these destinations. Um, actually, let's just, let's move on to a destination. The Labyrinthine Bog is where we're going. And you see that there's the four bosses, one, two, three, four, that we need to attack, need to, to uh, fight. This appears to be a town of some sort. Um, Let's just walk in, see what we got. Let's uh, let's pull this down a little bit, shall we? All right, nothing here. It's townspeople, looks like. There's not even solitude. All right, so I think we can also recruit people. I think I think I remember somebody saying that. Who is this guy? I'm Alberto. I'll join you squad for $24. What do you think? Do we have $24? Yeah, sure. Welcome aboard, Alberto. Hopefully you don't die like you did last time. So we got beer and they got food. Huh. Okay. Alright, so that's the basics. Um, I think this gives you at least a basic understanding of, uh, of enemy here. Oh, this appears to be a shop of some sort. Let's look at that first. <laughs> I know, I keep saying I'm going to stop and then I don't stop. But there's things to look at. Let's see what this guy has to say. Red sullen faces snarl. All right, let's talk to this guy. All right, so he's got adventure. I assume these are the prices. Adventurer's garb, plate, chest piece, masked man shirt, vampire's robe. That looks like most of these lower level ones don't actually do anything. They're just sort of decorative. Alright, cool. Alright, so that's enemy. 
Um, I think it's pretty an interesting game. I'm not very good at it, as you've already seen, um, but it seems like a cool game. Uh, it's got that XCOM-y battle mode, which is always good for for intense people who love intense uh, st uh, strategy. I'm have never been particularly good at intense strategy, but who knows? Maybe I'll maybe I'll blossom in my in my old age. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a like. Helps me out a great deal. And I'll see you later. Thanks so much for joining me.